Got 30 high-end fragrances here and to not waste your time, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about them. Maybe if you should buy them or shouldn't buy them, maybe I'll find you a similar scent cheaper. As the list continues, we start right now. Tom Ford Tuscan Leather, a beautiful fragrance, cost a heavy price tag. If you want it to smell like this, raspberry leather, deep, rich leather fragrance. Try this one here. It's called Pau Femmes de Marley Go Dolphin, a similar scent. It does have a lot harder projection on this thing and it lasts just as long as this does and this one lasts a little longer actually, but they're up in the 10 hours with Godolphin. I highly recommend the Godolphin. And also if you want it to smell like Tuscan leather, a little bit different, a little bit cheaper, half the price, try Ombre Leather by Tom Ford. And then if you want it to smell like Tom Ford Ombre Leather cheaper, find something called Rare Carbon. Next up, we're gonna give you Tom Ford Fougère d'Argent. D'Argent means silver in French or money. So you're gonna smell like a modern day barbershop fragrance with very high-end notes in it. Lasting power on this was about seven hours. To smell like this on a similar scent budget, find the same company, Tom Ford Beau de Jour. It's a very nice spring fragrance with the spices and the vetivers, and it's just delicious. The next, this is what it looks like. The next fragrance is called Tom Ford Oudwood. Find Versace Oud Noir. To smell like Oudwood, Oudwood, the 2021 batches are lasting four to six hours, but it's still a very pleasant note of oud. That's, it's not actual real oud, it's replicated oud, oud by chemicals, but it's very high-endly replicated, and it does make you smell sexy, and it does get you compliments, and Versace Oud Noir is a similar scent, cheaper. And then you have Tom Ford's Velvet, Tom Ford Black Orchid, the Parfum Edition, this one lasts a huge long time, projects very well. It's just a beautiful dark chocolatey fragrance. Another fragrance that's a high-end delicious fragrance you should consider is called Replica. It Replica is Maison Martin Margiela. This one replicas the fireplace. So if you're sitting by a fireplace with smoke and things like that, and vanilla and resins, that's what it would smell like. The smoke on here is very strong for the first 20 minutes. It projects like a smoky fragrance. So take that into consideration. If you're about to get in a car or go on a date, maybe you'll wait 30 minutes before, first apply it 30 minutes before you're going to meet up with someone just so you don't offend anyone. But other than that, it lasts six, seven hours. It's a great fragrance by the fireplace. Then you have this one, it's called Tom Ford Noir Extreme, which is a little bit more extreme version than this noir I'm about to talk about. Find RMF Odyssey, it's a cheaper, similar scent, cheaper to that. How about this, Tom Ford Gray Vetiver. This is an elegant office scent with vetiver and green notes, it's spicy, it's fresh. All at the same time, Gear Lang Vetiver is a similar scent, cheaper to that. Here you have Tom Ford Noir, the original, Port Noir, clean, powdery, vanilla, amber, woody, patchouli fragrance that dries down powdery, lasts a nice seven, eight hours long, or you could find yourself Prada Amber Intense gives you the same effect. What if you found Tom Ford Noir Eau de Toilette? Has anyone ever heard of that? This is another one of their fragrances that they sell. It's kind of hard to find, but if, if you would find it, you would find Habit Rouge by Guerlain. Here's a fragrance that's a lovely fragrance. If you were to buy this for yourself, I would recommend it. It's called Lost Cherry. It does have a cherry note, intense for 20 to th for two hours to three hours. Then the cherry is lost and up comes florals and woods and vanilla. And I love this fragrance. It's very elegant. A lot of people hate on it because the price is so expensive. Or you could find this one called Churat Red. Churat the Red. It smells just like it but doesn't have the vanilla in it. That's the only difference. This video gets 1,000 likes in seven days. I'm gonna give away a box of this Chirati Red to some lucky viewer. It has to get 1,000 likes. That means hit the like button and in seven days and you will be entered in the contest and I'm gonna tell you how to enter it. Type in the code 505. That means I know you are listening and you will be entered to win this bottle of Chirati Red. If you are ever looking for a fancy Tom Ford Noir fragrance that's hard to find, get yourself Anthracite. It's the combination of the citruses, the bitter orange, the petit grain oils that's in here, alongside the dark notes, the vetiver. The combination of that citrus and contrast with the dark notes gives you this unique carbon metallic dark note that's to die for that women, after five hours you wore it, 
they will come in and ask you, what are you wearing? It's that unique. I'm not saying this is a compliment getter, but it can be more a compliment getter than anything else if worn correctly with the suit at an evening event of some sort. Another fragrance you should definitely consider getting is Soleil Neige. That means the sun is shining on the snow. It's a beautiful white floral fragrance, men or women, super long lasting. And I love this fragrance. Lately, as a man, I've been enjoying Tom Ford Rose Prick. Actually, it smells very good and fresh. If you've ever heard of Dahlia Noir by Givenchy, that's a similar scent to this and it is less expensive. Or else find something called Royal, Ru Royal Rose by Juicy Couture. But this, I would recommend get it. It doesn't last but four hours, but it did get me compliments on hour one. It's a fresh, the rose, I don't even smell it because the pepper takes it away. I mean, I smell the rose, but it's very well done. It's like a freshy for me and easy to wear. All these fragrances are so exotic that we're talking about today. So f the room is just filled up with the scents. They're fighting for each other's aroma and it's getting me kind of heady. Next is Tobacco Vanille. And Tobacco Vanille is simply a tobacco vanilla scent. It's luxurious. You wear it to black tie events. It lasts eight to 10 hours or find something called Dark Vanille by Montel. And recently a viewer told me to find Reefs Noble. That's a fragrance that smells like tobacco vanille. This is called Neroli Portofino Aqua. It's a beautiful bitter orange citrus musk fragrance. Find 4711. It's a similar scent cheaper. 4711 doesn't last as long, but it's for like 30 bucks versus $350. This is called Tom Ford Costa Azura Aqua. And I just love to wear this. I wanted to show you this. This is like an ultimate freshy blue fragrance that's to die for. I just love wearing it. It's so comfortable. Just smelling it just makes me think of blue sky, sunshine, blue fresh swimming pools, bikinis, ocean, beaches. It's that kind of fragrance. You could wear it for a quick lunch date or if you've got like a business date or something like that, a real estate deal and it's hot outside, you could wear it on a spring day. You can wear it all year round. It's, it's like non-offensive. I really like this fragrance. Then you have this one called Tom Ford Oud Wood Intense. This is a nasty, mean, violent fragrance. And by violent, I mean, if you wear this, people will get out of your way. Women will clutch their purses. It's super strong Oud Wood, like to the 10th degree. And if you've ever heard of Valentino Noir Absolu, that's a similar scent, cheaper. And that used to be in the $40 range and it's now climbing. These Oud Wood Intenses and Oud Wood Noirs are made and then they come off market. I don't know who they made them for, but people do like them. If you like super strong, 10 hour lasting, loud, obnoxious fragrances, get yourself the Oud Wood Intense or the other one I meant, Tom Ford Tobacco Oud, which is a lovely tobacco Oud fragrance. Or you can also find this one, it's called Al Har Main Oud Tobacco which kind of smells like tobacco vanilla. And I thought it was going to smell like that because it says tobacco oud. If you wanted to replicate the smell of a jazz club, which is leathers and cognacs and rums and smoke, find yourself this one called Maison Martin Margiela Replica Jazz Club, which lasts seven hours. It's very sexy and very appealing to the other sexes as well. Next fragrance. If you like a coffee fragrance with rose, Tom Ford Cafe Rose is an excellent eight hour choice. It's got some delicious mirror in it. It's a, I love the interpretation. Should you buy it? I don't think it's necessary that you own it unless you absolutely love vanilla and coffee fragrances and that sort of smell. It does have this nice deep spice inside of it. A similar scent cheaper is called Montal Ristretto in Cafe or something if you could ever find it. Pascal Marabito Salt and Rose. This is called Tom Ford Velvet Orchid Lumiere. Now Lumiere means light, so there, this smells like Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. It also smells kind of like Black Orchid. Is it necessary? Yeah, if you, if you like Tom Ford Elegance and you don't like it so strong and heavy, then I would definitely recommend you get the Velvet Orchid Lumiere for sure. This one is called Tom Ford Black Orchid. Black Orchid is a dark chocolate fragrance with vanillas and sweetness underneath, and I love it. It's such a beast mode fragrance. It's got these beautiful black contour lines that match up with the cap, and you take it off. One squirt is all you need if you're gonna go to work. If you squirted this three times, 
it's game changing 12 hours to the next day that's how long it lasts and another fragrance that could smell like black orchid i wish you would recommend some down in the comments below that would greatly help and i have heard that Paco Rabanne Lady Million Privé smells like this as well. Well, Francis Cartagin Oud Silk Mood, a delicious oud fragrance. It's calmed down by some sweeter notes like vanilla, so it's not as strong as oud as, as the other one they make. And it does give you that silky smooth, but it does have some synthetic effects in the middle of it. And if you wanted a similar scent to this, try Montal Black Oud. Both of them are just incredible longevity. This is incredibly luxurious. This little bottle is quite expensive, so the other one's probably 50% less in price. If you like Maison Francis Kirk Tijin's Feminine Pluriel, which is a beautiful mixture of florals and white florals, and it makes you feel like slightly metallic and cold when you spray this fragrance, you might want to wear it on a day when you when you're just like Sunday morning or you, maybe you're waking up, your hair is messy, you got to run out. It's a perfect blind grab fragrance, super easy to wear. Or try Ralph Lauren Romance, half way more than half the price. And then if you wanted a classic oud fragrance that came out in 2012, you might consider Francis Kirk Dijon's oud. It does last long, but it's a stronger oud. I would say this is a level two oud. If you, here's a bonus for you for bonus. Next, I want you to also know that. These are our newest subscribers, and they're going to win something too. And I picked this guy right here. He just won a free t-shirt and a little scent sprayer. I'm going to send it to him now. You could win too if you subscribe to the channel right now. And here's a bonus for you. Nishani Eau de Parfum by Hasivat. It's called Hasivat by Nishani. This is a delicious fragrance. It smells just like Creed Aventus. It's got delicious pineapple in it. Gorgeous, elegant, luxurious thick notes coming out it's kind of smoky and it's pineapple-y it gets compliments it lasts 10 hours and a similar scent cheaper is not only intense by afnan i hope you enjoyed this video and i'd like you to watch this video coming up next or this one click on one of these coming up next peace and love i'll see you on the next one